Hey, what's up, YouTube fans? Another V6, and uh, welcome back, guys. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use Cubic Studio's voxeling feature today, because I've seen that not a lot of people really know how to, uh, or the, the general public does not know how to, you know, check the forums and learn from stuff like that. But I'm just gonna be showing you guys what I know. You should definitely check out the forums if you want to learn more. But it's just about the voxel feature. The element and stuff is basically the same as Cubic Pro, so there's not a lot of difference there. Uh, this is where it gets different. Uh, it's now a 3D um, view that you can actually in interact with. Before Cubic Pro, you can just move around and stuff, but you can't really interact with it. So what you're going to do is use your middle click to move it around like this, and control click if you want to turn it like that. And then just scroll if you want to zoom in and zoom out, and basic stuff like that. All right, so what you want to do is click on Voxel right here. You want to click this little corner thing and click Setup. All right, the corner thing with the three dots. And what you're going to see here is you can create a voxel. Uh, you can do 16, you can do 32. Uh, that's just controlling what size the voxel is, how small the little voxel blocks are. All right, and you want to create one voxel at the center of the block if you don't have any element or anything already. All right, you're going to have this checked. Click Apply, and there's your one voxel in the middle of it. This outline right here is the outline of where your... Um, Thing can go your actual voxel or not your voxel your model and uh, that's just the boundaries of it all right so what you want to do this block right here or this tool right here lets you create a block so you see this red outline that shows you which side it's on if you look on these views right here you can see which side you're actually looking at all right and we're just going to zoom in here and we can create a block right here you can click on the side to create uh, what color you want it to be, but uh, you can just later go with the pink tool, and um, I'll show you guys how to use that as well. So, what you're gonna do is this will just create a block, right? Uh, you can create whatever color you want, it does not matter. You can control Z to undo it as well. Um, I'm gonna skip this tool for now. Uh, we're gonna go to this one right here. What this does is it creates a cube. Uh, right here, you can change how many voxels you want it to be let's say we want it to be 10 we click right here bam we have a voxel of 10 cubes 10 cube voxels across this way all three dimensions all right so uh, now that we've done that we can do stuff like uh let's just change the color to white here go back to this tool this is the staircase tool so what you can do is you can go like this you can drag it around and you can see that if you just hold down your button you can create a staircase so we want to make an X or something, we can do that, no problem. As you can see there, this right here, uh, what you can do is uh, you can make a little square. So it's kind of like the cube, but it's for a two-dimensional uh, one voxel up instead of all three dimensions. So if we want to make a little top and a little side here, we can do that. We can do whatever we want. Uh, voxel is very cool because it uses the 3D view, but I'll show you guys here. You can also use the 2D view as well, like in Cubic Pro. It works the same way. All right, so right here, uh, this right here is the uh, the sphere. So this will show you how much as well, what the radius is. So you can create like a 20 radius one, or let's just do a five radius one so you guys can see. You just click where you want it to be, and then bam, that's the... Uh, that's where you want the center to be actually. So let's make the voxel up a couple first right there. And we can go back to the sphere and we can click it. And there's your sphere of five across. We can do 10 across like that. So if I just go and I undo what we did right there, there's a 10 voxel sphere. And if I undo that as well, and you can create a 50 voxel one. It's super huge. It's actually, uh, it's the, this is the boundary right here. That's why it won't go that far. So let's just undo that real quick. That's basically all you really need to know for that. Um, this right here will raise the layer. This tool, this little box tool right here, that will raise the layer or whatever you're looking at. So let's say we want this, uh, this whole field right here to go up. We can do that. If we want this little cyan part, we can do that. Uh, see, it's just it's just like the fill tool. If you use Photoshop or something, it's kind of like that, but it's four voxels. So you can go like that, and then that will just push it out a bit. 
So we want to be fancy. We just want the bottom part. We want this one. You can do whatever you want. And this right here, this tool will actually let you uh, delete whole rows of voxels. So if we click left click right here, you can delete the whole row. Uh, let's say we want to delete everything here. Uh, we can just go like bam, and this whole row is deleted. We want a hole or something. Bam, as you can see. You can also, what you can do is you can go on the first tool and you can right click instead of left click to delete individual voxels. I find that's very convenient for that. And uh, it's just, just really helpful that you can do that with actually any of these. If you go to this one right here, it will actually delete a, um, a cube of 10, or we want to delete a sphere of, well, not 50, let's do like 15. We can delete a sphere of it, and uh, we want to delete like a layer, we can do that as well. And it's just very cool, and um, it's just very intuitive. I feel the voxel, and then let's say we want to paint it. I have no idea what we actually did here. Let's actually make this look a bit decent, like where you're trying to do something. Um, let's just fill this up real quick. Actually, I can use my uh, my uh, out tool right here. Make this go out. Uh, make this go out this way. Make that go out a bit. We can make a slow staircase. That's not the staircase tool. There it is. Right, very intuitive, very simple. Uh, this looks like trash, but that's okay because it's just for the purpose of demonstrations. Um, and let's say you made something like trash like me and you want to delete it. All you have to do right here is click this little corner again, destroy voxels. It will give you a warning and you click destroy. Everything will be destroyed. And then you're just left with this empty canvas that you can do anything you want with. You can clear voxels outside model box as well, which is the boundary. All right, let's just say we really liked our cube for some reason. Uh, let's actually do a new cube right here. All right, let's say that's 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 our model, and let's say we have a a happy face or something right here. Well, oh, happy face. We I can't make straight lines apparently. That's why this tool is handy. There we go. And then we can have a little smirk down here, a little smirk down here, a little smirk up here. Let's say that's our our little little guy, and uh, we want to actually make him colorful. So you can click the paint tool right here. This will give you all these paint tools, or you can click on the, the paint. But if you're just working voxels, there's no reason to do that. This paint will paint the elements as well. Let's say we want him to be crying or something. We have this blue right here. Oh, he's crying. See, we're actually painting the actual voxel um, right there. Let's say he's crying. Or if, if we want his eyebrows to be brown, we can choose the brown and we can paint his eyebrows brown. Um, this right here, what it will do is it's just like the staircase tool, it will create a line of paint. So let's say we want an X on his forehead or on, on the top of his head or something. This right here, which you guys can do, it's it's the same as the voxel. Uh, it's like this tool right here, it will create a little square. Let's say we want the whole top of his head to be like that. And so you can make him like a mask or something. It's very cool, very cool. This is the paintbrush tool, so it's just like this one, but instead of one, you can actually have uh, whatever um, radius you want it to be. Let's say we want a uh, six, or not a six, let's do a three radius, so we want his mouth to uh, be red, So, but we also want his skin to be red around the area to like the choker kinda. So there we go, we can paint him like that. Um, what this here? Uh, this is actually like a little blob. It's like a circle that you can do instead of the uh, the paint, which is a square. Uh, this will actually be a circle, so we can make it a circle. Let's make it circle of what uh, ten. I know this dude's twenty, but I'll show you guys right here. See, so he creates a little, little circle. This is the paint bucket. Very very simple. Let's say we want the back of his head to be blue, or his uh, everything connected to the white to be blue. Uh, all we have to do is click on the blue, and then bam, now skin color is changed. But just like that. Let's say we don't really like his hair color, and we want it to be fancy. We want it to be like a 
fiery red. We just click on that. And as you can see, it just changes everything connected to that color to a different color. It's very easy, very simple to use. Um, and the voxel is definitely by far my favorite part of this. And let's say you're done. This is the the uh, the model you want. You can click that corner again. You click convert to elements. Um, but for that, all I want to show you guys um, what you can also do as you can play around with this this upscale by two. So let's see right here. We have just these voxels, and let's say we want to get more detail. We can upscale by two, and then we can get even more detail right here. And then downscale by two will actually make it larger so that we don't have those anymore. All right, so and then you can also flip it just like that, uh, just like you can with the uh, um, the regular models, right? You can press um, hollow volume with voxels. Uh, voxel volumes have been hollowed successfully right there. You can uh, fill volume with color. Uh, very cool. You uh, also do is you can destroy your voxels. Actually, I've mentioned that before. Um, and then let's say you're done. You can convert to elements. This will delete all voxels, so you can't go back and edit the voxels. But let's say you're done and you, you want to convert it, you convert it. And you can see in the elements here, we have all of our voxels. All right, and we see here we have the voxel palette. All right, now that we have all the voxels and the voxel palette, all you want to do is click right here. You want to click the save texture. You want to save it in the texture resource pack and export this model. And overall, very cool. I really like uh, what they've done. You can now use your scroll wheel to change all these views as well. It's very simple, very intuitive. Cubic Studio approval. <laughs> Anyways, though, guys, that was a really quick tutorial on how to use the fossil tool. I will also be showing you guys later on how to use the mesh and stuff like that. It's, it's very cool. And uh, there's a lot of potential what you can do. You want to see what you can do with the, uh, the voxel tool. Uh, I actually made a Hillary Clinton model that you guys can check down below. I also used the Cubic Studio uh, voxels for my mouth rigging. Um, my talking models in Minecraft. You guys can also check that down below. And um, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.